do, 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 do. What? Two dollars and fifty cents for a drink. What are these machines are trying to rip me off here? That's ridiculous. Two dollars and fifty cents for a beverage. A stupid machine. Let's see how much money I got. Oh god. Oh, it's like crud. I only got sixty-seven cents. I'm like a dollar eighty-three short. Uh, you know what? I'm so parched and thirsty that I'd sell my soul to the devil just to get one of these drinks here. Ah. Hey, bud. You look like a thirsty guy. Well, well, yes I am. I, I've been working really hard today, and boy, am I parched. Well, let me see. Do you have a thirst for power? Um, well, n not really, because you see, I have a problem handling responsibility. How about a thirst for beautiful women? Oh, well, uh, not so much in that department either, because I only get the ugly girls, and sometimes, usually, occasionally. How about a thirst for money, huh? Oh, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, you got something there, you know what? I am a dollar and 83 cents short of getting a beverage here, because I got, I got 67 cents, so I was thinking maybe, you know, you'd like, you could loan me a dollar 83. Oh, well, today's your lucky day. Tell you what I'm gonna do, all right? My, I know my son would love to get an autograph from you. So you can get anything you want out of this vending machine if you'll just sign an autograph for my son. He would love to have an autograph from Dr. Sanguinary. <laughs> you know what? I always love signing stuff for my fans, so here, let me grab a pen here and uh, <laughs> sign this for you. You know, I know my son would think it really cool if he had your autograph in blood. In blood. You know, Dr. Sanguinary, uh -huh. covered in blood. Get the picture? Uh, I, I guess, a little unorthodox, but I, I guess if it would make your kid happy, I, I could do that. Oh, uh, here we go. Ow, ow, okay, let's see. D-R-S-A, S-A-N. Guinari. There you go. Out. Ah, signed in my own blood. Thank you. My kid is going to love this for all eternity. Go ahead. Press the button. Get anything you want from the machine. Oh, boy. Uh, the, all the decisions and choices to make here. Uh, I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to get the red one. Boy. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh it's nice and cold, too. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha Council Bluffs. Uh, so easy to kick customers here. Doc, there you are. I have been looking for you everywhere. You're going to be late for the show. Oh, show. Oh, well, sorry about that. You see, uh, uh, I've been working really hard in the lab, and I, I needed to get a cool, refreshing beverage here. So, uh, hi, kids, and welcome to Creature Feature. You know, tonight, We've got a wonderful show for you, and uh, we're at our usual spot here, shooting at the Mall of the Bluffs. Bluffs, Bluffs, Bluffs. You know, I've been working really hard in the lab all day today, and I needed to come over to this rip-off machine and get a cool, refreshing drink, and I was a little bit short of pocket change, and this really nice guy came up to me, and he offered to help get me a drink, and I thought that was really super nice. Doc. Tell me you didn't take money from a stranger. Um, you know what? I I, I don't think I did take any money. He, he, he just told me to, to press a button and, and I got whatever I wanted. Hmm, that's really strange. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, what kind of movie are we got, gonna have a run on the show tonight? Well, it's not exactly spooky. Actually, it's crap. Mm. I swear, I would sell my soul to the devil just to have some quality horror movies on the show. Hey there, good looking. Are you, does your heart desire some A-list classic horror movies? Look what I've got. Fre Frankenstein, Freddy Krueger, and Ghost with Whoopi Goldberg. How in the world do these creepy fans find us? Security! Security! Code 666! Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Can you show me your seat for these? Uh, these are mine. I brought them from home. Well, why don't we talk to the police right now? Come on. Uh, I'll be waiting for you near your car. See what I mean? Yeah, these people in here, they're, they're 
They're weirdos, just complete, idiotic, stupid, ridiculous weirdos. Yep, crazy people. Crazy people always do really stupid things. Mmm. Cool and refreshing. Uh, uh. Quit your whining and buck up, boy. You've been sitting around hell for over 2,000 years playing video games. It's about time you get off your ass and get a job. Oh, go to hell. I'm just not in your evil ways, Pops. I want to go to a community college. I want to get a useless liberal arts degree. I want to study Vogon poetry. Can't you see that that's what I want to do? How? This is a family business and somebody has to run it and that's going to be you. Your brother Rex is the college grad, successful international airline pilot. So quit your belly aching. No college for you, just soul collecting. I hate you, Dad. You're gonna thank me later. You don't have to pay into Social Security or FICA. That idiot over there sold me his soul for a bottle of soda pop, and it's time to collect. So just take this Wooga stick, wave it at him, He'll fall over dead, take the Soul Sucker 5000, stick it to the back of his head, suck his soul out. It's so simple you can't possibly mess it up, all right? Now, I'm gonna go over to Walmart and get some idiots to sign over the souls for big screen TVs. I'll be back in a little bit. Get cracking, boy. Ah, oh, I really hate that guy. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna run away and become a Catholic. You just wait and see. All right, let's give this a try then, I guess. Okay, got the Wooga stick, all right. Well, here it goes! Wooga wooga wooga! Ah! 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 Oh, this is it! This is the big one! I'm coming to see you, Elizabeth! Ah. Doc! Doc! He seriously gotta do something about his narcolepsy. Oh. Here we go. Hey, this is pretty easy! Uh, just put it up there and... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. How, how come this green light isn't on? Hey, there's no soul in this guy. What gives? Who the hell are you and what are you doing in the ah, doc's ah, lab? Ah, 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 oh, what, what's that? Uh, hey, hey, who, who the hell is... I already said it. Who the hell is this guy and what's he doing in my lab? What's the big idea, mister? I'm the son of Satan, the prince of darkness. I've been sent here to collect your soul. Dr. Sanguinary, ah. there you are. I've been looking for you for six months. Uh-oh. Um, what does he mean, Doc? Um, well, you see, um, in a moment of weakness, I decided to go for a walk to visit the stores at the Mall of the Bluffs. Bluffs, Bluffs, Bluffs. I went into one and they had this really cool Alice Cooper bobblehead doll. And you, you press his head and you, it bounces up and down and it's really, you really gotta see it. Yeah, and you didn't have any cash, so you traded me your immoral soul for it. Now it's been six months. Time to pay up. He can't do that, can he? Actually, I can. I do financing now and take souls on a six-month payment, along with other major credit cards. But sorry, no personal checks. And it's been six months, Dr. Sanguinary. It's time to pay up. Take a number, sister. I was here first. Excuse me? Excuse me? Move your ass, whippersnapper, or I'll brain you with my cane. Hey. Hello, Dr. Sanguinary. Do you remember me? Um, I do not believe that I do. Should I? I'm Mrs. Crapapple from the Ladies Auxiliary. Hmm. Met you about three years ago. If you recall, we were selling delicious baked goods so that we could raise money for the rich children and they could have large stock portfolios and you wanted some apple crumb pie and didn't have the money to pay for the donation. Doc, seriously, tell me you didn't. Uh, but, but, but it, it was apple crumb pie and, 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 and I was weak. You didn't have any cash to help the overprivileged rich children, so you sold your unmoral soul for a piece of pie? 
a fresh baked apple crumb pie, I'll have you know. Fresh baked that morning by my friend Louise from the Senior Center. She makes the most wonderful pies, and she spits in every one for good luck. Boy, that was the tastiest pie I've ever had in my life. Uh, uh, uh. Just a moment, just a moment. Hello, excuse me. My name's Junior. My pop is Satan, the Prince of Darkness, and I've been sent here to collect Dr. Sanguinary's soul. Um, excuse you, I have the receipt for his soul, so it's mine, you horny goat boy thing. Dr. Sanguinary owes his soul to a 401k charity. Oh, and I, I wrote it off on my taxes, too. <laughs> now, if any of you has any idea of trying to keep me from collecting, I'm going to beat the living Jesus out of you. Now, you wouldn't want to bring Jesus into this, would you? No, ma'am, no. Unbelievable. You seriously sold your soul for a bobblehead, a piece of pie, and a bottle of pop? Yeah, but the, the, the bobblehead, it goes up and down and stuff, and it's, it's really cool. You should see it. Well, uh, you know what? I'll tell you what, kids. Why don't we get back into tonight's movie, and maybe all this stuff will just kind of blow over and sweep itself under the rug. <laughs> Doc, where is your soul? Well, aside from being at the bottom of my shoe, <laughs> I'm not really sure, but why don't we have Igor roll that movie, and uh, we'll be back in, in just a little bit. And, you know, you really ought to see that bobblehead doll. It's Alice Cooper. It's really cool. And the head goes up and down and stuff. Oh, it's really neat. And, and boy, when I, I watch it, I get so thirsty. And I wish I had money to buy a soda. Oh, hi, kids. And welcome back to the show. I sure hope you're enjoying the piece of garbage we're running for you tonight. You know, uh, for those of you just joining us, I got myself into a little pickle, you see, because uh, it seems I oversold my soul for all sorts of, you know, worldly possessions and stuff, and uh, I, I really don't know how I'm going to get out of this jam. So, Doc, I was watching television, and I saw this commercial um, of this place, this lady named Sister Mary Hannah the Lamb, mm. and she is a debt collector and consolidation guru, and it might be able to help you. Hmm. Are you in serious moral, ethical, religious debt with God? Oh, uh, yes, I am. Are Satan's creditors resorting to uh, extreme measures to collect from you? Yes, they are, and it hurts a lot. Well, uh, we at First Church Credit Consolidation can we can help you eliminate those sinful debts and bring you some peace of mind. That sounds good. How does it work? Drop to your knees and pray right now. 1-800-SIN-FREE. Pray right now. Do not delay. Sisters and brothers are standing by right now. Pray today. They can help you get out of this. Do not suffer for all eternity for earthly desires. Pray right away. Whoa. Do you think you could help Doc? Uh, uh. It seems he has oversold his soul and he really needs some help. Did you get that soul yet, boy? Oh, gee, I tried, Pop. Really, I did. But he sold a soul to almost everybody in town. Yeah, well, I stopped by hell and ran a credit check on this bozo like I should have done from the beginning. It seems he sold his soul to over 53 different people for goods and services. Ranging from a paddleball game. Oh, oh, I got that in a novelty shop in Cleveland. To several Asian eyebrow waxing sessions at the mall. Oh, well, you know I gotta look good for the ladies. Oh, this is so stupid. I don't even want to do this anymore. You know what? I want to go back to play video You're never gonna make it. Oh, you might as well start your own church. You're never gonna make it. Oh, yeah, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I want to go live with Tom. I want to... There. It is done. You've all been paid. If you take a look, check your bank accounts. It's all been consolidated and taken care of. And if you look at your market report, looks like the human soul is worth exactly $86.37. It's uh, uh, down $2 from yesterday, but uh, the pork bellies are up. Nice. Uh, 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 hey, 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 does this mean that I get my soul back? Well, of course. Uh, 
after you've uh, completed your payments to us. Um, and how much exactly is Doc gonna owe you? Well, you gotta understand, little missy, uh, due to overextension, <clears throat> you, Doctor, are on the flagellation plan for the next five years. So, uh, give me a hand. You know what? Uh, I don't think that your uh, your little nun ruler is really gonna hurt me that much. I mean, it probably would have back in Catholic school about 800 years ago during the Dark Ages. But you know what? Uh, I, I I really don't think it's gonna teach me any lesson. <laughs> I uh, begs to differ there, Greeny. <clears throat> hey, wait a minute! Ow! Ow! I hope you learned your lesson. I, I sure did. It's like, if you're going to sell your soul, make sure you sell it good for, I mean, sell it for uh, something that's really, really good. Ow. I haven't had this much fun watching torment and torture in years. You know what would make this even better? No, what? Ice cream. Ow. Oh, hang on there, Pops. I got this one. Wooga, wooga, wooga. You can't do anything right. Ow. I hate you, Dad. Ow. 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 Go this. Hey, Eat these crackers! I will. I'm gonna go back and play video games. I'll eat this for you. Wait till I tell your mom. You tell, you tell her. Wait till. Go ahead. Well, kids, that's all the time we got for you tonight. I sure hope you had a lot of fun and learned a very valuable lesson about selling your soul to Satan for worthless material possessions. You should probably go out and get a job if you need money because selling your soul is just a big pain in the butt. So here's Dr. Sanguinary, Creature Feature, Cast and Crew, signing off and we'll see you all again next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>